when you're in the photo persona on Affinity Photo, if you make an adjustment, or excuse me, in the develop persona, and you make an adjustment, you can get a slider afterwards that shows you before and after. For instance, this is a really washed out picture. I'll just adjust the black point up. So it's kind of obvious there's been a change made. And then up here at the top, all right, you have single view, split view, and a mirrored view. Mirrored view shows you the before on the right and after on the left. Split view, you can slide this back and forth. And that's great. However, if you go into the photo persona, you don't really have that option. There's nothing across the top here giving you that ability. So here we are back at the original image. And uh, let's say we wanted to be able to do that. We wanted to use a slider. And we've made all these different adjustments. Let's say we uh, changed the levels in this, added some vibrance, some curves, and an unsharp mask. Okay, so at least it looks very different from the original. It'll be pretty obvious when we use the slider. It's kind of a workaround. Um, what you could do, you could come up here and from the top, <clears throat> select your very last filter. And <clears throat> you want to merge all of these visible layers now into a, a single pixel layer. There's a shortcut you can use for that. Control, Alt, Shift, and E. We'll do that. There are other ways as well, but I like using the shortcut keys. And now that you've got that, you can turn all these layers off. You click on the unsharp mask and come all the way down here, click on that, and just toggle those off. So basically, the only two levels that are active are this one and the original. This is with the change, and that's the original. But there's still no ability to use a slider on this. There's two workarounds. You can do it, uh, basically it's being done by masks. You can use a gradient uh, or you can use a rectangle. Um, either one will work as a mask and we'll use the gradient first. So I'll come over here and I'm going to add a gradient layer to this. And <clears throat> you're going to want to <clears throat> add a pixel layer to do this gradient over the top of. So I'm going to come over here, slide it all the way across, and there's a linear gradient. Now, if you go into here, what you want to do is add a couple of what's called stops. This is a stop over here, and this is a stop over here. Currently, there are only two of them. You want to add two more. So we'll hit the insert key once and twice. Now you got four total up here. And we're not concerned about colors. It doesn't come into play and neither do these little adjustment sliders. We want the opacity to be adjusted on all of these. This first one is set it to 100% opacity. You click on the second one, 100% opacity. This one, we don't want 100% opacity. We want to actually adjust this down to zero. And the same thing with this one here. Adjust it all the way down. There it is. To zero. And what I should have done, looking back on it, is done this at the bottom of the screen. I'll show you why later on. But at any rate, yeah, you've got these now on the screen. You can slide these close together. In fact, let's do this first, though. Let's drag this gradient down into here. So now it's become a mask. If you bring each of these next to each other, and I'm doing this by just dragging this across, hold the Alt key until this gradually overlaps this one. In fact, I'll show you what happens if you don't use the Alt key. If you bring it all the way over, it's just going to completely overlap it and wipe it out. Now you're down to three of these. You don't want that. You want four of them. So overlap it about as far as you possibly can without it doing that. And at this point, if you hold the shift key down and drag this back and forth, you get sort of a slider effect. Works. It's not the greatest. And that's why looking back on it again, I should have drawn this way down at the bottom. So I'll back up a little bit show you how that would have worked better by 
putting that down on the bottom. Let's get rid of this layer here altogether. Right click on it and say delete. Now we're back to this again where we have the merged layers. So let's draw that again after adding our pixel layer. But let's make the gradient down here at the very bottom. And bring us all the way across. We're going to want to add two more stops to it. Insert and insert. And drag this gradient down here into your layer to act as a mask. Now when I do this, you'll see there's nothing across the center of the screen. This is all going to be on the bottom. So drag this across and as you're dragging it, hold the Alt key. Bring it over close to this. Oh, wait a minute. I have to back up because I didn't change the gradient or the um, opacity. That's at 100. That's at 100. This one, yes. That needs to go to zero. I'll slide that all the way down. This one, same thing. Go all the way down to zero. Now we have it. So down here at the bottom again, start sliding that across. Hold the Alt key. Let it overlap. Release it once it overlaps. And if you hold the shift, shift key, you slide these back and forth. And now you don't have that slider going across the center of your image. It's not a really sharp, necessarily perfectly defined line going across here. But it does work. So <clears throat> let's back out all of this all together. Um, we'll get rid of the layers that we've got here. The other way to do this, you're looking at uh, a rectangle instead. So let's go ahead and turn all of these on again. So we've activated all of our changes. Hit Control, Alt, Shift, and E to merge them. And when it's done, we'll turn these off again. So the only two layers that are active is a layer that has been merged. In our original layer. Okay, so to create the slider now on this one, I'm going to add a rectangle. Okay, and I'm going to draw it from this corner here all the way up into the lower corner. Oh, excuse me, let me let me do that differently. Let me, let me do that a little different. Let's pick a point up here, bring it down into the corner, like so. Okay, and then the same thing is going to happen here where we're going to drag it into this pixel layer. And you can see already it acts as a mask. So now you can slide this back and forth. This is a much simpler way to do it. Um, you do have a little bit more well-defined transition taking place on either side. Um, but you do have also this red line going across the center screen. It's a little distracting. But that's a very simple way to do it, too. So anyway, that's two different ways to approach this. Seems a little bit problematic for what you're trying to do, but after you've used it a few times, it's actually very quick.